well. So today I'm going to build a cargo spaceship. So it's going to be plastic bottles and bottle tops, I suppose. So let's start scratching that build. That's a used and clean uh, soap dispenser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, try and do something different with this one because I've been looking at some pictures of you know, spaceships and noticed that there was some, um, how do you say, inserts into the uh, spaceship actual uh, body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and carefully, <laughs> missing the lines completely on that bit there, I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to stick it back in but with a lip on it, so it's going to be sort of like an insert, if that makes sense. Stick with me, you'll see what I mean. So after carefully cutting out this piece of plastic, I uh, managed to get it out. Just come on, come on. I should have edited this better, but hey, you know, I wanted you to see the uh, entire process. Just so you can get your head around what I'm going to do. There we go. So there's the two bits that I'm now going to tidy up and then reinsert into the plastic bottle. But I'm going to use some EVA foam and I'm going to stick that around the edging. The reason being is that this EVA foam is about a millimeter thick and it should give me the, um, I keep calling it an indent. Um, but it'll be sort of like should be enough of a gap so when I place it back into there like that it's gonna make it look like it's sort of got two tiers to the actual spaceship now I know the edge doesn't look brilliant and it's all kind of wonky but I can fix that up later on down the line I uh, just want to get these in first because this is the first attempt. I put some um, BBQ sticks on uh, on that one just to sort of like help me because I only had one way in on that one. But there you go. That has now given me two little panels on the spaceship. So all that's left to do now is just fill this little bit in with various greeblies from um, plastic model kits and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to overdo it on these little panels, but I'm, what I'm going to do is that is a Q-tip or an ear poking device that I'm just going to chop down the uh, cotton bud off uh, either end and use these as pipes. So what I'm going to do is just put some piping on here and then just put some extra little greeblies on and that will be done for that panel. These I do believe are tank wheels that I'm just going to throw in. They'll look like hatches or something. I don't know, it's a spaceship once it's painted. Nobody will know any difference. Well, apart from your diehard modelists will know straight away which piece is which. But for this model, they're now hatches. I will just do a quick montage of me just filling up this little uh, insert with bits and pieces from uh, various model kits. And then we'll move on to the next phase, which will be the connector. Now, as you can see, I've put some uh, one mil styrene on there already. I know it looks patchy, bear with me there's a reason for that um, there's a bit of tubing that fits nicely over that so I don't have to worry about the uh, the top that will be the connector to the cargo bit but for now we're just going to concentrate on this bit so as you can see I've added some more um, panels onto the spaceship and also some uh, very rare plastic uh, straws which I still have in my little uh, greebly box that is an eye uh, it's from a build that I've built but um, still not got around to editing yet that's uh, one of two eyes that I made for Starro um, and this fits just nicely on the front of that so there you go I'm just gonna glue that one down onto the front that'll be the cockpit don't worry, it won't be the eye, even though it looks kind of cool with the eye at the front, but it's not going to be the eye at the end. 
Um, so there you go, that's all that. I've just added some more little bits of uh, styrene. Now it's on to bottle tops. These are going to be the thrusters for the uh, main part of the spaceship. And I'm just going to put two wheels that I got from some uh, kids toy that are going to go into there because they've got a nice little shape. Just make sure they're not going to fall. And then I've got some sticky beads that I'm just going to stick in the top bit there. Now, as we all know, plastic bottle tops come with ribs and not everybody likes a, a rib. There's a joke there somewhere gonna keep it clean for this one so I'm just gonna use some styrene cut it down to size and just glue it around the lid to cover the ribs so it's nice and smooth then just adding detail onto the uh, thruster part with uh, some more cut down bits and pieces of uh, one mil styrene and just getting them stuck into place so that's the detailing done on the thrusters and then it's on to the actual main body of the uh, Oh yeah, I did the top bit as well. Um, but that's the thrusters, and now it's the uh, main body that I'm gonna start doing. So again, what I'm gonna do is just uh, cut down bits of styrene and just stick them randomly on, and then put bigger bits of styrene on top of that so it's a better, uh, a better bond for everything. So the first thing I need to do is uh, cover this, uh, this bit where it's got embossed with uh, the uh, brand's uh, name on it so I'm just going to use some uh, foam just to make an imprint of the outline and then I can transfer that to some styrene cut out the styrene and then place the styrene on top of it easy peasy lemon squeezy I've actually never understood that meaning apart from lemons and you can squeeze them anyhow there's a template I made out of EVA foam. Transfer that over now to the styrene and then pop the styrene on top just like that. And that ladies and gentlemen is magic. Now it's just uh, little, little bits and pieces of the uh, styrene that I've just cut up into uh, odd shapes and I'm just going to stick that on basically. Um, why I hear you ask? Well simply because once I put the next layer on it's a lot easier for me to stick onto the bottle. Here I'm just going to put some holes into there, I'm going to put some wires coming from there to the back of the thrusters just because I wanted to and it's my spaceship so I can. There's the wires already stuck into that bit, I'm just going to push them down into the thrusters and just glue them on. Um, these wires came from some old USB cable or something like that so um, so yeah that's what I use you could use it as well you could probably use string if you wanted but uh, for me I'm just going to use that because it's got like a plastic coating on it and it's a lot easier to glue onto plastic Once everything was done, I just uh, rattle canned it with black and then I'm going to use the front bit. It's like um, a pale blue greyish colour, more like a wolf colour. Um, and then mask everything off and just hit it with different colours of grey. Because this felt like a technical spaceship, um, I wasn't many jokes in it this week, I do apologise. Um, I will do better for next week. Uh, there I am just uh, spraying red and then highlighting it with a bit of yellow just to give it that sort of contrast. Painting the uh, cockpit and that is it, on to the glamour shots. So thanks very much for watching, keep liking, keep subscribing to the channel and uh, until next week, keep scratching that build everybody.